I'm just going to in, um, introduce you to someone who else is, who is also, their family is also making a huge noise in the community and they've been um, through something no one should have to go through and repeatedly and um, I'd like to introduce you to Matt Cronin, he and his wife lost their son Pat Cronin in a one punch attack and yet again the uh, perpetrator is appealing uh, for the second time. So as we know, uh, victims' uh, pain never stops, it just keeps going on and these people here in Parliament and down at the courts just don't see the pain and the damage they cause. So without any more, I'm going to introduce you to Pat. Matt, sorry. It's nice to be called Pat. Um, so, look, uh, George contacted me just earlier, uh, late last week, uh, to come along today and add our voice to Olivia's voice. It's so hard as a parent to lose your child, and next week marks two weeks for uh, two years um, since Pat was killed. The thing that we want to add our voice, Robin and myself, is as a victim. You know, we're all victims of crime. Everyone here today is a victim of crime. And it's about time for the people in the big house behind us to start recognising that as victims, we should be put ahead of the offenders. <laughs> victims, for some reason, the laws of Victoria have changed. Once upon a time, people would say that the laws were there to protect law-abiding citizens. It's too often we're seeing cases, just like with Jalal's case here, where the, uh, the offenders are given more, more rights than what we are as victims. And it's time for change, it really is. We need to put victims first, that's our message. Now we're here for Pat, but we're also here for Jalal, and that's our message. Is let's get behind um, this cause, let's make sure as victims we're looked after in the future. Thank you. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.